Hi, Doug Stuman with IT Creations. This week we have exciting news from Lenovo, AMD, and Intel. Did you know? Lenovo has just announced a new high-performance mobile gaming rig, the IdeaPad Y910, designed specifically to handle 4K gaming and the immersive experience promised by virtual reality. The Y910 is a gamer's dream, featuring an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 8 gigabyte graphics card, paired with a sixth generation Intel Core i7 K series processor, 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, and a combination of solid state drives and hybrid drives. In case you're not familiar with the term, hybrid drives support both traditional platter-based storage with a smattering of solid state storage chips built in. But that's not all. There's a turbo boost button located on the highly accurate mechanical keyboard that will instantly boost CPU performance. It even has programmable color combinations and lighting effects. That's cool, but what gamers really want is no lag. And the Y910 promises maybe not an end to lag, but reduced lag with high-speed killer double-shot pro Ethernet technology when streaming online. If you like gaming on the go, the laptop features a 17-inch full HD display with nearly 180-degree wide-angle viewing. And once you get home, it becomes your home multimedia slash entertainment slash gaming system with support for up to three separate displays for cinematic viewing with built-in Dolby Home Theater multidimensional surround sound. It also supports the complete suite of Lenovo's gaming accessories. This system will hit the market in November of this year, just in time for Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or Festivus. Whatever you celebrate, a new IdeaPad Y910 would definitely add to the fun. Pricing will be around 3,700 bucks. In other news, AMD just announced their next generation high-performance Zen processor core for desktop computers. It delivers a 40% improvement in performance over the previous generation, which is really quite impressive. They also set up a demonstration against Intel's Broadwell E processors, the Core i7 processor, outperforming a similarly configured 8-core i7 processor when running multi-threaded Blender rendering software with both CPUs set to the same clock speed. AMD also announced a Zen-based 32-core server processor codenamed Naples. The Naples processor debuted in a dual processor server running a Windows Server OS to illustrate the versatility of the new Zen processing to deliver increased computing capabilities from devices to cloud. The new Zen processors will be paired with AMD's AM4 Unified Socket infrastructure, offering improved responsiveness and benefits from future ready technologies that feature dedicated PCIe lanes that won't leach lanes from other supported devices or components. Aside from the desire for world domination of the processor market, currently held by Intel, AMD is making great strides at closing the gap, but still has a ways to go. Case in point, Intel just announced an addition to their Xeon 5 family of processors aimed at deep learning. Of course, not much is known about these processors because they haven't been released yet, but we do know the code name, Knight's Mill, and that it should be available in 2017. These new processors are designed for the rapidly expanding machine learning market. It promises flexible, high-capacity memory aimed at NVIDIA's Tesla co-processing products. We'll let them duke it out on the GPU architecture versus Knight's Mill in the coming months, leading up to the release, because until then, it's all hearsay and not admissible in court. Well, that's it for this edition of Did You Know? For information on any of these topics, click one of the links in the description below, like, share, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stuman, and now you know.